this is the originality report and uh, this is reporting it in percentages and you can see that it shows there is 22 percent cited or quoted content and uh, this is the uh, citation that, that is here which is why it shows 22. also you can uh, just go to this link and here it provides you the link also where uh, the content has been picked up so let's click here so this is the page from where the content has been picked up so this is how this works you can also click here and it will show you the exact place where it is matching. So this is the part of the student and this is the top web match. So again, it takes you to that particular page. So this is how originality reports work. And uh, of course, it's uh, to, uh, the understanding of the teacher that this is plagiarism or unintentional plagiarism. And it is... Uh, as mentioned, it is basically a surface matching that is happening between this document and the other documents on the web. So, of course, uh, it is under the direction of the teacher that the student can actually improve or modify this particular document so that it has got proper paraphrasing and it is also properly cited. It, it uses proper references so that there is uh, no plagiarism in that context. So this is how uh, originality reports work. And of course, it's very, very useful. And as of now, there is this limit of only using this report or be, being able to run this report thrice. But it is definitely a useful feature that can help us evaluate and assess our students' articles and assignments and to give them proper directions as to how they can improve it. Okay, so this is how originality reports work. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to discuss about creation and evaluation of quizzes in a Google Classroom.